Welcome back to Christian Rewire, where we delve into complex topics with an open heart and a grounded faith. Today, we tackle a conversation that ignites both passion and confusion. What does the Bible say about people with same-sex attraction? Before we dive in, a quick housekeeping note. This is a nuanced and sensitive discussion. We won't shy away from exploring different perspectives, but please remember that behind every opinion lies a human being deserving of respect and understanding. First, let's acknowledge the elephant in the room. The Bible was written thousands of years ago in a vastly different cultural context. Concepts like sexual orientation weren't understood in the same way we do today. So, applying those ancient texts directly to our modern understanding of sexuality requires careful consideration. Take, for example, the infamous story of Sodom and Gomorrah. While often cited as condemnation of homosexuality, a closer look reveals the primary sin as inhospitality and lack of compassion, not saying sex relationships. Now there are other verses that seem more explicit in their disapproval of saying sex acts, but here's where responsible interpretation comes in. Instead of cherry-picking individual verses, we need to examine the broader message of the Bible. Love your neighbor as yourself. Treat others with dignity and respect. These core principles resonate throughout Scripture, transcending specific cultural practices or legal codes. Instead of getting bogged down in debates about specific passages, Let's shift our focus to the essence of Christian living, loving God and loving others. How can we, as followers of Christ, show genuine love and compassion to our LGBT plus brothers and sisters? This might involve listening without judgment, offering support and encouragement, and advocating for their rights and well-being. Remembered, Jesus reached out to the marginalized and ostracized, challenging societal norms and extending unconditional love. This conversation isn't about fitting neatly into predefined boxes. It's about recognizing the beautiful diversity of human experience and extending God's love to everyone, regardless of their sexual orientation or gender identity. Before we move on, a quick favor. If you're finding this exploration helpful, consider subscribing to Christian Rewire. By hitting that subscribe button, you're joining a community dedicated to open dialogue, critical thinking, and compassionate faith. We tackle tough topics without shying away from nuance, and we believe genuine growth happens through respectful engagement. So, if you're ready to be part of a faith conversation that challenges assumptions and embraces complexity, hit subscribe and join the rewiry. Remember, this is just the beginning of the conversation. There's so much more to explore, different perspectives to consider, and personal experiences to learn from. Let's keep the dialogue open, listen with open hearts, and remember that our shared humanity transcends any differences in understanding. This journey of faith isn't always easy, but by approaching complex topics with respect, empathy, and a commitment to truth, we can begin to build a more inclusive and loving Christian community. Until next time, stay grounded in faith and open to rewiring.